What's up, Nitro Nation? What's up, people? Well, I'll tell you what's up. Hold on a minute. What's cracking is the Muggy Maniac is on to something here. Right. Now, what you're seeing and hearing right now, obviously, is the LRP.32. Got about, uh, let's see, we did 10, 10 tanks of baby fluid, Infamil, I call it, baby nitro formula, 20%, 11 Byron's, or actually mine's, by the time I get it nice and gooey and thick and nasty, you know, I try to, I, I, I like to break my shit in around, uh, you know, 14% lubrication, nice and, nice and gooey, better for protection, okay? 30%, this is like second tank, I think. Maybe third tank, okay? Not sure. I'm not going to run too many through it. The only reason I'm running this right now, and I know I mentioned uh, that I'm going to um, pull this motor out <laughs> tonight. <clears throat> um, I already was going to pull it out, but I wanted to try one more thing. And I think I might be onto something here, people. The Muggy Maniac. Um... What I did is you're listening and you're seeing right now, that's not the X-Tech carburetor on there. That is a Kyosho MP9 TK14 carburetor off of my Ofna running on that LRP.32 right now, okay? And running very well. Haven't really messed with the idle or tuning or anything. I had it pretty much tuned on my Ofna, point twenty one, but um, this is different. I'm going to let you watch it, hear it, and listen to it brap. Uh, maybe another tank, and then we're going to talk about this, all right?
Oh yeah, she's a brappin. Last time you're gonna see this baby stock, people. But she's on her way to Rick. Take a look at the bad guy, because this is the last time you're going to see this bad guy stuck. Okay. Well, people, and she's not even lean. I can lean her a little bit more, but shes I don't want to push it too much because, like I said, she's going to, uh, to Rick's to get modified next week. Um, so I'm going to let you guys check out this quick video. It's only going to be about maybe 15 minutes, um, and then I'll upload another one following it or because I can't combine. I'm just te te technologically... Uh, like retarded <laughs> as you guys haven't noticed but anyway again this is an LRP point 32 stock same header same pipe I ran before which I like um, with a Koyosho whoa there it goes load up too much with a Koyosho <clears throat> MP9 Inferno um, I can get you guys the part number, which I will. Um, so apparently this, um, this carburetor works on the LRP. I kind of was taking a shot, but I figured, you know what? I think it's the same diameter, um, but I'm not sure. So I put it on. It fits perfect. Um... Tilted the carburetor a little bit in an angle to get it because of the, this way this carburetor is. But, I mean, pretty much just slapped a uh, Kyosho MP9 2K, I think it's 13 or 14. That's the carburetor uh, on this thing. And it runs way better. Way, way, way. Not, I mean, the x the X-Tech, it is what it is. It's not a very good carb. I even rebuilt it a little bit. I could probably still run it. Uh, I just don't want to mess with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you guys just seen it. The, again, the Kyosho MP9 TK14, um, carburetor fits and works fine so far on an LRP .32. Now, we'll see how that does because it only has... Because of this, it's a point, it, the carburetor is for a point twenty one, but the carburetor, um, I did mill out the Venturi because as you know, point twenty ones they only come with 
Um, the Venturis are only, I think, maybe an 8.8, whatever. I, I, I milled it out to, it's about, a, this Venturi that's in this carburetor um, is an 8.5. So, not a 9, 8.5. Now, I, there's another one that comes with this that I'm going to mill it all the way out to a 9. Hell, I might even go a 9.5. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? But at least it's going to be a 9. Uh, I believe it, there's only an 8.5 Venturi on here right now, but that's fine because it's breaking in. Um, but it, it's pretty much broken in. I'm on it. Um, you know, I'm going to run a, you know, maybe finish this tank off. i got a half a tank left. And then I'm not going to run it anymore. I'm going to pull it out. Um, it's nice and broken in. Um, but still brand new. Still the pinch is really tight. Um, and I'm going to send it to Rick. So this badass little .32. Um, how does it compare to the 28.8 Rex Legend? As far as stock-wise, it doesn't have the torque that the Nova Rossi does. But it does have a lot of bottom-end snap. And it does scream top end. The only difference is that as far as the Novarossi 28.8 has a lot more pull through the mid. This doesn't have a lot of pull through the mid. It has a lot of snap, a lot of bark, a lot of brep, 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 brep. As you guys can see it, brep, brep. It even, you know, this thing is it's a stock with the setup that I got. 80,000 in the middle, 50 on each end, Buku clutch, 4 shoe. Uh, medium springs, uh, the Y186 pipe, which is similar to a, a pretty close to an 086, and the header I think is a 41031 or, or 410, whatever it is, I'm not sure, but <laughs> anyway, it snaps and pulls the front end of this thing off the ground. Um, so I'm running DE racing rims, um, four inch ones. I'm going to do a, upload a video after this that's going to not only go over what I kind of briefly explained to you guys about this carburetor working, but also uh, how to mount DE race rooms because I just got a, a brand new pair uh, today. They're in my room waiting. Uh, I'm going to mount them up on the uh, yellow uh, DE racing rims with the Badlands, and those are going to be set up for the Megan MBX seven when it gets here next week so uh, anyway i'm pretty stoked now i'm a little bit more excited i don't have to a uh, matter of fact that carburetor that inferno carburetor is like not even 20 bucks i think it's like 18 dollars <laughs> i'm gonna buy me another one or two of them uh right now and i'll pull the part number up because i don't remember and i'll find it for you guys uh but anyway so that's what's going on this thing is rocking and rolling but uh this is the last time it's going to be you'll see it stock in the techno next time it will be modified so that's all i got stay tuned for the next up and coming video um yeah so breaking news you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on an over aussie carburetor but the x-tech carburetors that come on these stock is garbage so anyway that's all i got we're going to do some more brapping. Peace, I'm out.